click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to tell you guys how you can find out the truth about women, the truth about how women really get down, right? Because, you know, guys on the internet, they be, you know, looking up stuff on YouTube and looking on message boards and dudes be talking about female nature and red pill and all that other stuff. And yeah, that's all well and good. But if you really want to know how women get down, right? All you need to do is have a conversation with the women that you're dating and hooking up with and tell them to tell you about the other guys they're dating and hooking up with, right? So basically what you want to happen is you want to get these girls to tell you about the other guys that they're fucking, right? And see what happens is, is that if you are able to have a conversation with these women and get it to where they're comfortable having these conversations with you, you're going to learn a lot of shit about how women really get down. Right. But see, there's a, there's a, a way that you do this. You don't want to be in a situation where you're talking to some girl you're hooking up with or you're dating or whatever, and you're trying to get information out of her, but you're doing it in a way where it seems like you're being judgmental, right? You don't want to do that type of shit. You know, you just want to have like a regular conversation and get it to the point where y'all are having a conversation about that, about her other dealings with other men. Now, the good thing about this is, is that it reminds you, it's going to remind you that you're not the only dude she's messing with as one, which is a good thing because some of y'all guys be living in this like illusion that when you fucking around with a chick that you're the only one or she's not really getting down like that. And see if you actually have these conversations with the woman, you will see that she's getting down with other dudes, right? But how do you do this, right? This is the thing. When you're having this conversation, Right. What you want to do, this is the easiest way to do it, because remember, you don't want it to be a thing where it seems like you're asking her about shit to be judgmental, because a lot of times women, they're going to lie to you because of, you know, them not wanting to feel like they're sluts or they don't want to make it. They don't want you to think that they're getting down and doing a whole bunch of stuff because they know that a lot of guys are judgmental. So when you're dealing with these women, you have to separate yourself from all the other guys who are going to be judgmental towards her, who are going to judge her for what she does. Right. And so what it is, is that when you have these conversations, you want it to just flow sort of naturally to where y'all are having a conversation about that topic. Right. So what you can do this is the easy way to do this is you first volunteer some information about you fucking with other women. So let's say for example, you, uh, chilling with some girl that you hooking up with or whatever. And just in conversation, you'd be like, yeah, you know, the other day I was out with this chick and you know, that she did a, B and C. And I thought it was crazy because, you know, I usually, uh, expect women to do D E and F. And it was just like weird that she did a, B and C. Right. So then you can say, Hey, how about you? Like, you know, the other guys that you be dating, right? Like, do they ever do a, B and C right? So now, you're just having a conversation about other people you're dating, right? And see, now that she sees that you're just open and honest about what's going on with you and other women, right? Then she feels comfortable enough to tell you what's going on with her and other men. You see what I'm saying? So you're just having a regular conversation about it right now. What's going to happen is you're going to have some women who are, you know, still going to be a little bit nervous to tell you certain things, or they might not tell you certain things that are going to front. Like they're not doing nothing with nobody else except for you. Right. Because they still want to keep up that appearance. You see what I mean? But in general, what will happen is, is that you'll be surprised at how many women will tell you about these things. Right. Because now what happens is that if you're the type of guy who is that non-judgmental guy, 
she's going to be comfortable to tell you certain things and see the way that you make this happen also is that when you're interacting with these women and this is what i tell you guys all the time from the jump is that you want to come at them sexual in the first place so what i mean is is that when you first start dealing with these chicks you don't want to come off as some guy who is trying to take it slow or some goofy ass beta male that don't know how to you know flirt and build sexual tension so you want to be that sexual alpha type of guy in the first place so that you know you're already hooking up with this girl quickly you know y'all already got shit popping off so she sees you as that guy anyway you understand so then when you are having this conversation you're just a guy who's a non-judgmental guy who's comfortable in his skin that's comfortable with women who are sexual right and so she's going to see you as that guy so she's going to feel comfortable to tell you about the things that's going on with other dudes right so now what's going to happen is, is that when you ask her oh yeah so what's going on with you and these other guys you mess with or you can you might even say to her like oh you know how many other guys you mess with besides me you understand what i'm saying and you're just having a regular light-hearted conversation right and so what will happen is is that she'll start telling you shit so like for example i remember i was out with this one chick and we we had smashed um one time before so this is the second time i was you know meeting up with her to, to, to smash or whatever right and so basically i you know i started talking to her about this stuff so i was like yeah you know i was like she was like oh how was your, your you know your weekend or whatever or what you what were you up to the other day and all this other stuff and i was like yeah you know i was out with this chick and this happened and that happened right and then so i she we were talking about that me and this other girl i was messing with right and then i said to her i so saw i flipped it on her i said so you know tell me about you know uh these other dudes you mess with i, I know you mess with other dudes you know what i'm saying so then she goes in and says oh yeah this is guy that i'm i'm you know i'm kind of seeing but i'm not really feeling him but he is paying my my rent and he be giving me an allowance and yada 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 you understand what i'm saying so basically you know she's telling me that there's another dude that she's messing with that she don't really like and she's just using him for money <laughs> you understand what i'm saying and then what happened is is that you know she told me some other stuff about uh some dude that she messed with the other day and you know they was fucking and he fucked her too hard and then her her pussy was sore and all this other stuff right now what's interesting about this is that a lot of this stuff right that i teach you guys is from my experience dealing with women and it's also from shit that women have told me you understand stuff that women have revealed right when they're telling me about other guys they're fucking with you see what i'm saying and then also what's good about this too is that when you're talking to these girls right it's going to show you how they act with other guys and how they're acting with you you understand in relation to you so you might be like damn well i'm fucking this chick for you know for nothing and she's basically hanging out with some other dude who she's charging this nigga to, to hang out with her basically you understand what i'm saying so it shows you how women are going to act different towards different guys you see what i'm saying like i was out with this other chick and we was hooking up or whatever and this dude was blowing up her phone and shit and you know she showed me the messages and she showed me messages from other guys that she was messing with and how these other dudes is like double and triple texting and shit you understand and you know what was funny was was that me and her was in the bed and this chick she took a picture because i like i was holding her like you know i think i had my my arm around her or something like that or i was like hugging her from behind so she took a picture of her shoulder and like you know my arm right so it was a close-up of like her shoulder and my arm and then she texted it to this nigga who kept blowing up her phone he's like yo what's up where you at blah blah, blah. and she said yo i'm i'm chilling and then she sent him you know basically the, the picture of me and me and her hugged up you understand what i'm saying and what was funny was was that she sent him the picture and the nigga still was like you know texting her and trying to get out of her and i'm like god damn i'm like 
So she got, you know, these niggas blowing up her phone. You understand what I'm saying? She's straight up disrespecting these dudes and they still coming at her. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm like, that's just interesting seeing that dynamic of how she was acting in that moment. You understand what I'm saying? To where she would take a picture of, you know, that shit and send it to these motherfuckers. Like, I thought it was funny, but at the same time, I was like, man, that's that's kind of interesting. You see what I mean? So what I'm telling you guys is, is that you need to have conversations with the girls you're hooking up with. You need to have conversations with the girls you're dating about other guys they're fucking with. You understand what I'm saying? See, you're going to learn a lot about, you know, how women are, how women are sexually duplicitous, how, you know, women will act like the good girl with one guy and then act like the slut with another guy. Right. And sometimes what will happen is, is that girls will tell you shit to where you're looking at yourself like, damn, why am I putting in all this effort or I'm doing all this shit? And she done told me she did this with this other nigga and he didn't, he didn't do half the shit I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying? Like you start to see shit like that. You understand? You'll start to be able to compare and contrast these situations and really get a feel for not only that girl that you're dealing with in particular at the time, but just women in general. Cause if you're doing this a lot with a lot of different women, then you'll start to see similarities in how women are acting out here. You'll start to see, you know, certain things that you would have never seen before or never heard before, or just never, you know, thought about. So you're, you're going to be learning more about women by getting in those situations and those conversations to where she's revealing, you know, other things that she's doing. Because see, a lot of guys like to live in this sort of bubble thinking that oh yeah i'm messing with this girl i'm dating this girl and you want to have the the fantasy that oh sh well she you know she's not like these other girls and she's different and you know she's special and you know she's she's a good girl and yada 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 okay well we'll ask that good girl about other guys she's fucking with right and see what's going to happen is this you're not going to get the information you want out of this girl if she sees you as the 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 type of guy who's like one of these judgmental beta male type of dudes like she's never going to reveal anything to you you understand what i'm saying in fact you got to have some game you got to have a mouthpiece in order to get the chick into that type of conversation in the first place for her to reveal the shit that she would reveal right so this is why i said it you know earlier is that you got to come at her on some sexual shit because you need to be the type of guy that she sees as the non-judgmental sexual alpha guy you understand what I'm saying? And she'll be more comfortable spilling the beans, telling you all the shit, letting you know what's popping off out here in these streets. And then on top of that, you got to you got to understand this, too, is that when a chick is telling you this stuff, right? You know, if she's if she's telling you about shit, she's doing with other dudes. You can't sit there and start cringing and, and, and feeling some type of way. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you got to understand, first of all, that this shit is going on again. Like I said, it's it's good for you to see and to realize and to know that you don't own the pussy. You understand what I'm saying? But also it what, what was happening is, is that it's a learning experience. It's for you to learn about how women really get down. You understand what I'm saying? So I suggest that when you guys are out here hooking up, dating these girls or whatever it is, Ask them about what's popping off with these other dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, some some of the 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 funnest situations I had with some of these chicks I was hooking up with is when, you know, they they showed me messages in their phones, the DMs, you know, all the shit in their inbox, all these simps and goofy niggas trying to holler at them. You understand? Like I'm reading her messages back and forth to the guy, and I'm like, oh, this chick is just being an, an attention whore with this motherfucker. And you know, certain things like that. You understand what I'm saying? And, and it, it shows you all different sides of the game. It shows you how these chicks be playing games with these goofy ass dudes. It shows you how uh, when she really likes a dude, when she's really about a guy, she's going to be cooperative and submissive. It shows you that, you know, when these chicks talking about, oh, let's take it slow and all this other nonsense that they bullshit in you. You understand? Because, see, this this can even work for where. You have you're not even necessarily dating or hooking up with a chick. You could you could ask these questions to a chick you just met at the bar at the club. I remember one time I met this chick at um some spot or whatever, and we was talking and we, you know we're going back and forth, 
And, you know, she told me, like, I got her to tell me about basically uh, this time when she just randomly fucked some dude that she just met, you know, at some spot. And she only known him for like an hour and they ended up going to a hotel and fucking. Right. And so what happened is that because I got this information, I'm looking at her like, all right, cool. So, you know, we we need to get together and, uh, you know, make some shit happen. Right. Let's let's get it popping. Let's let's go to, uh, to a hotel or let's go back to your crib or let's do something right now. And so then she was on some shit like, oh, well, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not really trying to do all of that. But we you know, we can go out and and for a drink. And I'm like, bitch, please. You just told me <laughs> that you met some dude before. And fuck them within an hour. So what I look like taking you out on, you know, and and spending all this, you know, time with you and doing all this other shit. Now, again, see, this is why women don't like to tell you shit, because they know that if you knew what they were doing, they couldn't run all this bullshit ass game on you. But again, I didn't say that to her, you know. When she said that, I just in my mind, I'm like, I'm not fucking with you like that. Come on. You just told me you you don't fuck some dude within an hour and you want me to chill with you and hang out with you all day and do all some extra shit. Hell fucking no. You understand? But again, it's good to get that information because now what happens is, is that you see the type of chick you're dealing with. You see how she's gotten down or how she gets down. And then you make better informed decisions on whether or not you want to waste your time or not. You see what I'm saying? There's so much benefit you can get by having these conversations with these women. You see what I'm saying? So guys, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, listen, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at y'all later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the bad boy membership contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the bad boy membership contest is to be a bad boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the bad boy membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the bad boy membership contest. So here's what you receive if you win the bad boy membership contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece. And a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.